According to the charity Oxfam, 10% of global CO2 emissions are caused by the textile industry. I got into fashion as a business by wanting to sell some of my old clothes. So then I found this app called Vinted and then I seen people were selling the old clothes on there. So I got around 20 of the clothes that I wasn't using anymore. Then I sold them on there. And then progressively, I started selling more stuff. I started selling stuff which I bought for cheaper at charity shops and kilo sales. And then I eventually progressed into getting a wholesaler. So now I get bales of designer clothes such as Stone Island, um, Broken Planet, Nike, Supreme, Bape, the list goes on, um, in massive 20 to 100 kg bales and then resell them on. Virgil Abbo is my fashion icon. He is the owner of Off-White and the creative director, or was the creative director of Louis Vuitton. He changed the fashion industry by streetwear, um, making it more popular through luxury brands and making it more expensive. The way he used elements that were on the street such as the Glasgow airport sign and putting it on a t-shirt and it's just the way he forms his clothing, the way the um, the fit, it's just everything's amazing about it. Roughly I spend about £3,000 on clothes from vintage clothes which are unique and there's only one left to then high-end luxury brands such as Bape and Louis Vuitton. Fast fashion is bad for the fashion industry due to um, the clothes only being used a couple of times before they change the shape and then eventually get thrown away. They go to landfills and it puts a bad um, impact on the environment and to the fashion industry as well. I typically get my clothes online, however, I do also like to go into the shops sometimes. Facebook Marketplace. I usually get it from um, Adidas or Nike, but if I'm shopping online, um, I quite favourite the mckenzieshop.com. My current style of fashion is mainly um, streetwear. I shop at places like Primark or smaller places like Affleck or Sheen. I typically spend around 50 to 150 per month on clothing. My opinion is if you can't afford more ethically made places, um, it's understandable. But if you can afford more ethically made stuff you should gravitate towards that according to the ellen MacArthur foundation 75 percent of consumers believe that sustainability is important and one third are willing to choose brands that help environmental and social improvement i think fast fashion is an issue that is mainly in today's society and it's something that needs to be solved because it's causing lots of waste global warming issues and there's a wasteful amount of product that's been produced on landfills and people are appreciating actual fashion and garments for what they are with my A-level projects, I did, did two projects. The first one was about recycling, like the sea theme. So I used lots of plastic that had melted, and like plastic bags, reused materials. You know, like, things that you'd find within like the household rubbish and things. And then for my second project, it was focused more on like plants and microscopes, so like, things like that. And you were using different fabrics rather than wasteful things so I'm not wasting materials. It's important because you take something that doesn't have value to you or someone anymore and you make it into something that will have value whilst also being healthy to the environment and not being wasteful. I think it's ethically bad but a lot of major corporations are ethically bad and because we live under capitalism we're kind of in a situation where we don't necessarily have a choice always by ethically because it, it's more expensive. It is almost necessary because it's convenient and also because the prices are so low and because we're in a cost of living crisis. Um, it's one of them where it's like, it's not great ethically, but it was bound to happen and to an extent we benefit from it existing. With the high street, especially since we're in a shopping centre like here, the amount of shops that have been closing recently, there has been a, a lack of customer base due to more affordable and online brands. But because we haven't, online store and we do things like order and store from online and even sell through third-party retailers like for example ASOS. We have seen a lot of the death of the high street for example like Peacocks in the shopping centre that I work in and um, that kind of went and then kind of came back so it's one of those where a lot of high street fashion brands are on tumultuous ground um, but luckily a lot of stores have been converted into online stores and having easily accessible delivery and stuff but without that, I guess, evolution of a store, then I think it is quite significant that they are dying out.